He was an entertainer. He gave so many stories and really connected with the audience. I'd say he's full of energy. Like a character that you want to keep listening to. It's really the energy he brings and how fast he brings it. Growing up, I was the kid who was literally afraid of everything. I was afraid of the dark, elevators, murky waters, my own basement, talking to girls, and especially wild animals that can kill you. Two years ago, my aunt thought it would be a good idea to go to the jungle for a few days. We get to Nicaragua. We travel seven hours away from civilization. We are greeted by Pedro, the owner. He says, Bienvenido a Hotel Monte Cristo. We are so excited to have you here. Are you excited about the crocodile tour tonight? What I enjoyed most about Juan's speech was his personality and his personal stories. Our biggest problem is that we compare our behind the scenes to everyone else's highlight reel. It really was easy for our students to see tangibly where they can go from his speech. He shines his flashlight across the coast and dozens of red eyes just light up. So we're drifting under this overhang and what seemed to be a branch, but ultimately turned out to be a snake, is hanging on my right. You can tell the way he talks, he's very confident, and he wants to insinuate what he truly believes in, which is about making a change in this world. And guys, really my point, and the whole reason, one of the core reasons why I'm here is the simple fact of change starts with you. Because this world needs your leadership, they need your impact, they need your influence, and it's time to show up today, not in a week, not in a month, not in a year, but actually right now. I sprint up the stairs, and guess what crosses my path? The same coral snake. He sold me on his idea of having the ability to make a difference. I am done with this place. All I want to do is go home, but again, there was one more excursion, which was horseback riding. And out of nowhere, he just stops. But I look past his head, and guess what I see? The same coral snake. He's pretty infectious, actually. He's got a lovely magnetism about him. He was leading by example, and I think that that was a valuable lesson to understand that they can come out the other end of the challenges that they're facing. And now it's me, the snake, and like wilderness. And I'm about two feet away and I look at it, but I didn't care, it was the only thing stopping me from getting back to the resort. It was literally the only thing in the way of getting to my goal. And I was about two feet away and I take one more step to the point where I could almost touch it. It looks at me, pauses, and it slithers away. His messaging is very clear and simple in that regardless of who you are, regardless of where you are, Put yourself out there, don't be afraid, get involved, and don't be afraid of getting experiences that might be outside your comfort zone. But I wanna ask, like, what is your snake? Like, what is the thing in your life that keeps on coming up that it is time to face? We all have things that get in our way. Everyone in this room has something that makes them wanna quit, makes them wanna turn around and walk away. So what is that for you? The number one part I really loved about him, he was really passionate and that's something I really admire. He was super relatable in that sense where he was giving his real life experience and that was what made it really pure and wholesome. It wasn't just him talking to us, he was actually getting us involved. He has a really great message that I think without giving anything away, you all need to hear. Because true leadership is leaning in to the things you're afraid of. True leadership is stepping into a place where you consistently choose courage over fear because courage is not the absence of fear. It is your ability to act in spite of it. Courage is not the absence of fear. It is your ability to lean into the things you're afraid of. True leadership is stepping into a place where you consistently choose the things that make you feel uncomfortable. So what you to think about before you leave today, what is one decision that you can make that will ultimately impact tomorrow? I invite you to make a decision. A decision that is gonna impact you and the people around you because what I know to be true is that decisions determine the quality of our lives. Because true leaders show up when no one else will. Don't wait until tomorrow to have the impact that you can actually have 